In this video, we will learn the difference between IT and ICT, identify the positive and negative effects of ICT on society, and determine some ICT trends. Let's start talking about the difference between IT and ICT. Information technology, or IT, deals with the use of computers to create, process, store, retrieve, and exchange all kinds of electronic data and information. On the other hand, Information and Communications Technology, or ICT, is more inclusive of technology that allows you to communicate with others. ICT, therefore, is a direct extension of IT. The term ICT is also used to refer to the convergence of audiovisual and telephone networks with computer networks through a single cabling or link system. This convergence is facilitated by telecommunication companies. The term telecommunication is the transmission of signals across long distances. The internet and cellular phone networks are commonly known examples of telecommunications. Some of the prominent companies providing telecommunication services in the Philippines are Philippine Long Distance Telephone or PLDT, Globe Telecom, and ABS-CBN Sky Cable Corporation. Modern ICTs have created a global village in which people can communicate with others across the world as if they were living next door. An example of the application of ICT is video conferencing. A video conference is a live, visual connection between two or more people residing in separate locations for the purpose of communication. It provides transmission of full motion video images, high quality audio, and text between two or multiple locations. However, ICT doesn't just include modern technology. Old school telephones, fax machines, televisions, and any other device used to communicate text, audio, or video to another person is also considered ICT. So much of IT and ICT are interrelated. Technologies developed for IT have practical applications in ICT and vice versa. For the purpose of distinction, let's take a look at the functions of IT and ICT. The function of IT is to help attain an efficient way or method for the management of information with the help of technology. On the other hand, the function of ICT is to help make the process of communication and attaining and imparting information better with the help of technology. At this point, let's identify some of the impacts of ICT on society. Starting with the positive impacts. Faster communication speed. Now with the internet, news or messages are sent via email to friends, business partners, or to anyone efficiently. Lower communication cost. It allows people to have access to large amounts of data at a very low cost. Reliable mode of communication. With reliable computers and the internet, information can be accessed and retrieved from anywhere at any time. Bear in mind that the quality of output produced is based on the input. This is related to the term garbage in and garbage out, which means bad input normally produces bad output. Effective sharing of information. With the advancement of ICT, information can be shared by people all around the world. People can share and exchange opinions, news, and information through discussion groups and social media sites. Paperless environment. This means information can be stored and retrieved through digital media instead of paper. The internet has become a borderless source of services and information. Create employment. Examples of jobs to have grown and have been created are IT technicians, computer programmers, and web designers. Revolutionize human experience. ICT continues to revolutionize all parts of the human experience. Computers once answered phones and directed calls to the appropriate individuals to respond. Now, robots not only can answer the calls, but they can often more quickly and efficiently handle callers' requests for services. Big Data Revolution Organizations turn the vast amount of data generated by ICT into insights that drive new products and services. Development of ICT-enabled transactions such as internet shopping and telemedicine and social media that give customers more choices in how they shop, communicate, and interact. Here are some of the negative impacts of ICT. Individualistic and introverted. People tend to choose online communication rather than having real-time conversations. ICT has allowed more and more people to limit their interactions with others, and this could lose some of what makes us human. Moral decedent and threats to society. 
the expanding use of high-speed internet has led to the new level of crime. Some ICT users might enable schemes or illegally gain access to systems to steal money, intellectual property, or private information, or disrupt systems that control critical infrastructure. Health problems. Computer users are exposed to bad posture, eye strain, physical, and mental stress. Unemployment situation. ICT has brought automation and robots that displace workers who are unable to transfer their skills to new positions. Instead of using people to build things, computer-controlled robots are used. Robots can run day and night, never needing a break and don't need to be paid. Digital divide. Discrepancy in access to ICT has created the so-called digital divide. The digital divide refers to the gap between people who have access to modern ICT and those who don't. Now, let's talk about the top 5 ICT trends in the Philippines in 2022 based on the article at yondu.com. This list can give us a glimpse into what we can expect in the near future. Hybrid work. Today, organizations are implementing hybrid work models for a more consistent experience regardless of location. Outcomes have become more important than hours put in. More Filipinos embrace digital banking services and they are more open to innovations that make payments and banking more convenient, accessible, and seamless, such as online, mobile, and digital banking. Online banking, also called internet banking or e-banking, is a financial transaction performed over the internet. You can make a transaction through the bank's website using a computer or laptop. Mobile banking, on the other hand, allows customers to transact with online services through a mobile app. You can perform transactions using a tablet or smartphone. Digital banking is a rising trend in the industry. It is designed to replace a bank's traditional, physical branch with a full online presence and automated financial services. Here are examples of branchless digital banks, ING Philippines, CIMB Philippines, and Tonic Digital Bank. Here are some examples of digital banks with physical branches, Union Bank, Discartec by RCBC, Como by East West, Hello Money by AUB, and I save by Maybank. Hyperlocal market. Consumers have learned to patronize goods and services and interact with small businesses within their local communities. The three must haves for the hyperlocal market include fast delivery, omni channel experience, and real time ordering structure. E governance solutions refer to the use of ICT and its application by the government to provide information and public services to the people. The ultimate goal of e governance is to offer an enhanced public services to citizens efficiently and cost effectively. Gamification Websites, online communities, and learning management systems incorporate gamification to increase participation and engagement among customers, employees, and partners. We come to the end of this video lesson. I hope I have given some light to your knowledge about information and communications technology. If you find this helpful, please like and leave a comment. Please consider subscribing to my channel too. Thanks for your time.